Brian King, UK Floor and TV. Uh, we're over in Grimsby at RWS Carpet Fitter Supplies uh, with uh, Dan Jones, Paddy McNicholas, and we've got Paul Shaw from Spot Nails. Uh, Paul's brought a few Spot Nails products down. Uh, what, what, what have you brought down, Paul? What are you showing us? Uh, firstly, just want to show you the uh, LT50 concrete nailer, used for uh, obviously gripper. Uh, onto uh, concrete floors. I've got that, it's actually incredible. Fantastic, it's fantastic tool, yeah. fantastic tool. Uh, the beauty about this, um, it uh, takes from 15 to 50 mil nails, hard and steel nails, um, in that same carriage there without adjustment. Um, very powerful machine, I've got these glasses on, obviously to uh, protect myself. Um, just show you how it works. I was actually surprised on um, the, how hard surfaces the nails actually go in. It, yeah. it, is, it did surprise me. Yeah, it's uh, on this particular model, the pneumatic model, it's got um, a bump fire and a single shot. So most people use it on single shot, uh, but you can actually switch it to bump fire and keep the trigger pressed in and away you go. Somebody's a bit more confident with the tool, um, but single shot is, is good enough for anybody. Um, so basically, um, gripper, I've got the ones with nails in. Um, already in there, but basically that's not going anywhere. You can hit that with a hammer, it, it, it won't come out. It's, it's stuck. Well and good, you can't pull that up at all. You could even, if I had a longer bit of gripper, you could even put it across there, put just three nails in, one in the middle, two either side, and you can actually lift that concrete block up. And bear in mind, this isn't a breeze block, it's a proper concrete block. Um, just to explain, just take that off the end, just to explain as well that this is a, an engineering brick. Uh, so that's one of the s more solid bricks you can get, you know, the hardest bricks. And it's, it's in there, it's not coming out. And again, that's just... And we've all tried to knock an nail in a brick that's been laid in a house and you're yeah. not doing it, are you? No, no. <laughs> so, you know, some of the chaps who say, oh, I've, I've, I use... Um, What's the adhesive? The flex flexi adhesive, grit fill, yeah, yeah whatever. Um, they put that down, they send, they come back in, and they can do it. With this, it's it's automatic. It's you know, it's there. It's not you don't have to work around. A lot of new builds nowadays, the, the floors are solid. Yeah, uh, you can't get a nail in, but you can. You actually can with one of those. Yeah, definitely. If, if I was fitting with that, I would glue it, and then I would nail it with that as well. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. what I yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, in fact, uh, a lot of people, uh, in our experience, buy the gripper with the nails in because it's cheaper and it, it's even quicker because they just, just go around and take the nails in. Put out. it in with the nails in, yeah. run around, put yeah, the nails exactly. in your pot, you never have to buy a nail yeah, either. Exactly. So yeah, that's the, uh, that's the LT50. What, what we would say is, um, it used to be like a 20mm uh, nail that uh, goes in the concrete. Um, but uh, you can use 20 or 25s. Um, if it's a 20, it goes in only a half inch or 12 mil into the concrete and it's solid. You're not, you're not moving that. Um, so that's the LT50. We do have um, a gas battery model uh, made by Chep. Um, does that use 15 mil nails, does it? Yeah, it's, it's a, it's a, the model is 15. Uh, ST1550, so again, from 15 mil to 50 mil, 15 to 50. Uh, that's the gas model. I saw that uh, demo that Harry got cracking bit of kit. Yeah, brilliant. It's, uh, I think it won the Innovation Award um, for new tool two years ago at Harrogate. What are the gas canisters price wise? Are they? Um, and how, how long does a gas canister last? About, about eight pounds, right. about seven or eight quid, uh, but it lasts, I think, two and a half thousand shots. So it's not, not, not expensive no, at all? No, and the batteries are, are, are the, the long lasting as well. Right. Um, so between the uh, amount of shots you get on it with the battery and the, um, the amount of gas that comes out of there, it, it's, you know, you don't have to, you get two batteries with the kit as well. So it's, it's, time, it's time that's expensive nowadays, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, definitely. So if you can save time, you're saving money on it. Yeah. So yeah, that's the ST1550. ST so that's a fantastic tool. Um, then we have uh, the SFN19, uh, which is the coil nailer, which is this little beauty. 
Um, takes from, well it takes 19s, 22s, 25s and 28mm plastic coated nails into that carriage. Is that the upgrade from like say the CM45? Yeah, it's yeah. The, um, the CM45, SCM45 as we called it, uh, was, uh, was sort of a maroony colour, reddish colour with a, a silver body. This is, this is an upgrade on that model. Uh, so we changed the colour to blue. Um, and uh, yeah, to all intents and purposes, it's uh, the same basic tool, but it's been sort of upped. Upgraded. Upgraded with some of the parts in it and things, make, make it a bit longer lasting. And how long um, warranty does that come with? Uh, 12 months. 12 months warranty. Uh, we, don't have, we don't have issues with the tool. Uh, there's many fitters out there got this and will recognise this. It's a quality uh, kit. Quality piece of kit. Yeah, uh, full depth adjustment on it as well. Uh, to sink your nails in to to whatever ply you're using, but yeah, powerful piece of kit. Um, so pl the plastic is uh, we we introduced plastic. I mean, a lot of other manufacturers do plastic, but especially for the flooring guys, uh, what the uh, what the wire nails tended to do was was leave a little bit of a shard of, of wire, um, and if somebody's putting down candine or, or you know some other some of the brands of, of flooring, high-end high flooring, then you don't want a, a shard of uh, wire hanging about. Uh, so the plastic just, at the end, it's, when it's spent, it, you can just pull it off and it's all in one piece. So, yeah, to, to demo this, we've got a piece of ply board here. And you've got your nice new compressor in the yeah, back. Yeah, the new Charlotte compressor. compressor. The, uh, it's um, Sorry, the new Spotnells compressor, Silent. So it's only 59 decibels. They are um, very quiet as well. Very quiet. Right? And the, yeah. A lot smaller as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, and the beauty about this is you can take it into a, a, an office block or even a, hou a house and you can put that on and I'll just demonstrate. I call it a pair rather than some of the other bigger compressors. Um, good thing as well, it's got a two year warranty on it. So that's a, that's, a, that's a big selling point as well. I'm going to look inside, it's a two year warranty, very portable, and as you, as you, we, we, you can call it a silent compressor under a certain decibel level, but that's 59 decibels, which is super quiet. But the power, it's still got the, still got the power. Again, this, this model um, has got the, uh, the single shot which is it's set to now or the uh, or the, um, the bump fire. So if you're doing a large sheet supply, just keep your finger on the trigger, bum bum bum, get away. Um, but yeah, that's probably our biggest selling flooring tool. Right. Is that? So you sell more of that than anything else? Yeah. Yeah, I would say so. Well, and, uh, you know, Full along with the. It's got to be a good one. Yeah, uh, <laughs> along with the obviously the Maestri tools, because uh, we're not just spot nails with Maestri. Uh, in the UK as well, so we sell the uh, obviously electric tools, the 4000, the 606. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so it's one of the biggest selling uh, pneumatic tools we do for the flooring range. Um, and then, uh, well, I'll go. I'll just wind back a little bit because uh, if you're using, if you're putting ply down, laying ply, obviously the old-fashioned or some people still still use them. Um, that have sort of come away in recent times um, is the is the stapler. This is a, a newer model. This is a T1S 3832, which is uh, a smaller body but more power. Um, so that uses a, a divergent staple. Uh, three sizes you can get for that. Um, so yeah, that's a that's a, a powerful tool. So you've got your stapler, you've got your, your nailer, and then. You've got your screw system. So I should move that work away a second. Is that out for the air? We've got the spot nails screw system. So you don't even have to bend down. No bending down saves your knees. Uh, probably doing some out of sales of, of knee pads now, but anyway, uh, this is a uh, the, the new spot nail system. So it's a Makita uh, driver on the back, back end. Um, it has a mandrel that goes all the way down the shaft. 
with a, um, a screw bit in it. Um, it's very easy to load, in fact. Just comes out. And to load it again. This has more screws on it than, than some of the other machines you see out there. So it's nice and easy to use. So that's, is, that, is that a standard that's strip of screws or do they come longer? No, that's a standard strip. Um, there's 50 screws on that. Right. Um, and we use our screws as well, not our screws, uh, we use a, a high performance wood screw in this. Right. So we get these collated at spot mills ourselves. Right. Um, so these are the screws we sell to a carpenter, uh, you name it. Um, so this, this is a 19 mil screw. Uh, we d the reason why we brought this in, um, it's a German system, um, is that you can get a 19 mil screw for it, where some of the systems you can't. Do you, um, do you sell uh, different size screws? Yeah, there's a, strips as well, yeah. a 19 and a 25. So they come in a box like this. So that's the 19 mil screws. And how many strips do you get in a box? There's a thousand a box, so there's 20 strips of 50. Right. So that's a 19, and we also do, as I said, a 25 mil screw as well. Um, we did have a system that used uh, only 25 mil. Um, sales were good, but for for a, for a, a contractor, they obviously wanted they were crying out for a three quarter or a 19 mil screw. Uh, so we brought this in, so that does both. Full depth control on it, using this wheel. Uh, full tension control using that wheel. Um, and basically, power on. So you can, you can bury that screw as far or as, as close to the, uh, the top of the, the, the board as, as you want, really. No effort at all? No effort at all. Good tool, the only thing is, you, you know, you've got to be sort of standing upright, really. You can't sort of put it at an angle like that. If you're standing up, up, up a bit, you, 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 obviously you, you force up on there, and you've yeah. got a side angle to steady yourself, and away you go. The, good, the other good thing as well is with these screws uh, on this strip, you can actually... Uh, if you finish for the day, you can take that out, and even if there's sort of two or three screws left on it, you can put it back in and use those two or three screws up. So there's no wastage whatsoever. So, and because um, they're on the coil, they're not going to fall about in your van. In your exactly. Van. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. The, the, the box is, is like that, so you can literally lay them flat um, and not. Probably. It's a good bit of kit, and you'd fly. Brilliant. You'd fly yeah. through a room of ply with that, wouldn't you? Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. you know, you, you, you pay, uh, you, it pays for itself in the, in the first job if you've got a lot of ply to do. It's a lot nicer work when you're stood up as well, oh, screwing yeah, it down, yeah. falling round on the floor, screwing yeah. it in. Yeah, yeah I've, I've done demos before um, at major stockists uh, whereby you don't even know the price of it, and I'm demoing it, and there were, there were two guys stood behind me, I thought we were together, and the boss said, I'll have one. I'll have one, I don't want to bend down, I'll have one. And they didn't even know the price of it. So, uh, and they were both separate guys, just watching me use that. So, it's a, it's a fantastic piece of kit. Um, we do 110 volt, 240 volt, and we also do uh, a battery powered one as well, using right. a Makita drill. Yeah. But the, the price of that is, is obviously higher than, than the 110 volt, 240 volt. But you've got the, the you know, obviously the beauty about uh, not having a, a wide trailing. Um, but yeah, that is a Makita Paulus as well. So yeah, that's the uh, spot nail screw system. This new battery stuff as well nowadays, it gets you around the 110 yeah. problem of size yeah. and that, because it just works in domestic or, or commercial, doesn't it? Yeah, exactly, exactly. So yeah, that's the spot nail screw system. Um, the, the, the screws themselves, as I said, um, are coated as well. Uh, got a special geometry on the screw, uh, and that screw will even go into hardwoods without pre-drilling. Right. Obviously, won't, you won't pre-drill a floor, but it, just the point is that the uh, it's got a very sharp point on there, uh, a gash point of some sort, so, or a drill point, gash point. And it'll pull into the hole. It'll pull in, well. yeah, it'll pull in, um, yeah. So, uh, as I said, that they are coated, so they're going 
more, you know, easily to the floor. So yeah, that's the that's the spotless screw system. Um, that's basically all the stuff that covers your first fix, doesn't it? Yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, obviously, we have other tools. I mean, um, this is it. That's a carpet fitter's favourite there. Yeah, Hamataka. Hamataka. Air eleven staples. I have the uh, the Brad the Brad gun as well. I oh, use right, that okay. for beading. That's a that's, yeah. That's a good bit of kit. Well, that, that electric one there, the SE thirty um, eight. That obviously, that's that's a mock up of the. If you see the Scotia there, or the uh, what do you call that on the bottom, the beading. The yeah. If you see the beading there, you, you cannot see. Uh, a bit, unless you're really looking at it close up. The, the, gun I, the gun I had before, you, mm. you had to kind of sink the nails. Ah, with right. That, with that, they just straight in, in yeah. and, and you, you just go over with your filler, just yep. to cover the holes. But they are very minute holes. Yep. Um, this is a, it takes a 21 gauge uh, pin, Brad. It's got a very, very small head. Um, but yeah, 21 gauge. Uh, and. and they the love it because the fitters love it because, as you say, you know, you don't have to. It's got a soft nose as well. The soft nose, yeah, there's no scratching or anything like that. Yeah. And it's straight in. So, yeah, that's the SE38. Anyway, Paul, thanks for that. No worries. Some, uh, well, really impressive stuff there. Stuff I use, stuff fitters will be watching what we'll use. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, and you can get everything from uh, RWS. Yeah, RWS down yeah, in yeah, Grimsby. Impressor's impressive, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah, that, yeah. That, 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 that is yeah. quiet, yeah. We, we uh, again, 110 volt and 240 volt uh, versions available. Uh, just speak to Steve for a deal. Um, we do also, just to, just to add, we also do a spot nails, my street, we do a kit form as well. So if somebody wanted a, uh, a nailer, uh, they would get a nailer with uh, obviously the compressor, 240 volt or 110 volt, with a, uh, a 10 meter hose and all the couplings and a wheel box as well. So basically, out of the box, it's ready to go. Yeah. Uh, but we don't also just do it for the, the nailer, we do it for the stapler, we do it for the concrete nailer. We do most most pneumatic tools in a kit form. I bought so, my concrete nail in a kit form. Yeah. And not the compressor, the yes. board, the core. So pro rata, you, you, you're saving a little bit more money. Yeah. So you, you're literally getting maybe a hose free and maybe, um, you know, equivalent cost. You're getting a hose free with the couplings. Yeah, you do so, hold spares for things as well. Yeah, we do, we do spares for everything. We're an official service centre uh, for, for other tools as well. Uh, but yeah, we, obviously we stock our own spares. Um, but yeah, that, that, that flies off the shelf now. Um, Can you manage it? Yeah, it's, uh, it's a godsend really. I say it's portable, it's not heavy at all. Um, and yeah, oilless, two year warranty. And um, oh, yeah, just, just, just work, silent, yeah, 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 59 decibels. It's, uh, it's one of the, the quietest on the market at that sort of size and that price level. Brilliant. Anyway, Paul, thanks again. No worries. Cheers. Thanks for Thank that. You. Cheers. Thank you.